Oh, I love that intro. Ha! Huh. Let's freaking go. I did. I am. Yeah, I am. And I'm also streaming it on Discord. So you can watch. Okay. Oh, hello, everyone. Welcome to the stream. We're playing I Love You, Colonel Sanders, a finger licking good dating simulator. <laughs> Let's go. I have no clue, but I just started recording for the video. Hello, the tubes. Okay. What should our name be? Okay. Jebecky. Wait, no. The f Hold on, okay. The... Oh, no. Jacob Jebecky the third. Yep. Guys. <laughs> Why not? Oh, yeah, we are. Welcome, Gideon. You sleep softly as the morning sun casts a warm glow through the window of your modest, of your modest student apartment. The world is peaceful and serene. <laughs> yep, we're doing it. Yeah, we're doing it, Morgan. The world is peaceful and serene. You can stay in the moment forever. Or could you wake up now? Now, your first day of culinary school is no time to sleep in. Oh, God. Okay. Yeah, I gotta turn this. When? Okay. I am, I am. Lying in bed, you stare at the ceiling, thinking about everything that awaits you at the prestigious University of School Cooking Academy for Learners. You my, your mind wanders. Who will be there? What will you cook? What should you wear? Time begins to fly by. You find your your imagination getting away from you. We must take this seriously. We're gonna meet the freaking Colonel. Colonel Sanders. I'd better... <laughs> Jebecky the third. I'd better make sure to arrive prepared for the first day. You burst. You burst through the door. Your morning checklist. Teeth, brush, hair, comb, pits, deodorize, hotel, Truvago. <laughs> Nothing can stop you now. You confidently grab a biscuit, strut out the door, and head off to class. Look at that biscuit. Look at that steam. The steam. Stand, you standing in quad. You gaze upon the magnificent University of Cooking Academy, of Cooking School Academy for Learners. Here comes your lifelong. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna start letting chat decide. Here comes your lifelong best friend forever, Miriam. She's the most adorably awkward person you've ever met, and you absolutely love her for it. Yes, I'm doing the Macarena. You can't see, though. <laughs> I'm ha Okay, I got it. Okay, you do it. <laughs> Wonderful. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Actually, I'm... Max, go. Because I sure am excited, a little nervous. Okay, okay, a lot nervous. What the? It's just that this morning I had breakfast for myself, but well, when I eat, I could have taste any love in the food. What if I'm no good? What if I fail? Classic Miriam. Raised by Master Chef parents, she's always held herself to a very high standard. Ever since we were little babies playing together and you rescued me from the quicksand box, it's been clear to me that you've the, you're the most loving, caring person I know. You're going to do great. <laughs> A sweet girl. Mary
Miriam has always had the flair of traumatic for the dramatic. This summer, she got so nervous about her first kiss that she chipped a tooth practicing on mannequin. Oh, what? <laughs> okay, what do we do? What do we do, chat? What do we do? Chat, chat. What do we do? Come on, Morgan. You gotta help us. What do we do? Pep talk our best friend or change the subject to school gossip? Come on, more, more, more. You can do it. Come on, come on. Hey, come on. Hey, hey, hey. Come on. Uh, the pretty delayed, so she already did pick. You just have to wait an extra five minutes. Gossip! Okay! It's hard to see Miriam like this, and frankly, quite exhausting. Gossip! Okay, I chose gossip! <laughs> oh, God. Oh, okay. God! Ah! <laughs> it's hard to see Miriam like this, and frankly, quite exhausting. Rather than dwell on her anxiety, you try to change the subject to something more interesting. All summer, you've been hearing rumors about dreamy, enigmatic mystery student who is enrolled at this school. Yeah, this is a little, yeah, that's a little worrisome. But you'll be fine. You'll be fine. <laughs> What's no? What about the misdirection we went on about in the school message board? Any new deets? She sounds like a guy. Oh, goodness. I heard. I heard. His name is Hit Holland. And he's no ordinary student. I see. An egg like a chicken? Don't be ridiculous. Don't be ridiculous. But that thing have, but that thing about having powers, it would line up with some of the other rumors I've heard. Like I heard once he fought a bear with just his smile. Oh my god! 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 You both, you both, you both sigh, thinking about dr how about a student so handsome that the laws of physics don't dare to apply to him. Dreamy. Are we sure this wasn't made by Colonel Sanders himself? <laughs> I gotta be, I gotta put myself as handsome as I possibly can, boys. We're streaming safe, we're streaming the... Oh, hi, safe. Game. Welcome, safe. Before you can get another word out, you're really interrupted when someone smacks your books. And custom in... Hey, the President Rock. Welcome. Thank you for following. Yeah. <laughs> How are you doing? Before you can get another word out, you're rudely interrupted when someone smacks your books and custom engraved measuring spoons. NOT MY MEASURING SPOONS! And I stab them with my spork. I stab them with thy spork. I really stab them straight in the S face with my Measuring spork. spoons out of your hands and onto the ground. Hey! Oh, no, that's you. <laughs> okay, oh god. Safe, I need you to be the voice of this character. Safe. <laughs> Yes, safe. Yes. Yes. Voice, you yes. Voice. Can you please be the voice for this character, Safe? No. 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 Gideon. 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 Gideon yes. Please be the voice for this character. Okay, but it's not my turn. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. Ashley, your arch rival. She's totally evil, but you can't help but be filled with jealousy. She can do anything she wants, and she knows it. Okay. Uh, he hello, Ashley. Gideon? Oh, I didn't see you there, chicken shins. <laughs> you leave Quebec alone! Or Quebec the third alone! Shins alone! <laughs> they are perfectly normal shins! Uh, I don't really get anyone from chat to do any voiceovers, I'm just with my friends. Okay. Ugh! You can't stand Ashley if her name is annoying. You know for a fact that it's Ash. It's actually Ashley. But she added extra letters to make herself feel better than everyone else. Wow, we were already. If anyone knows what perfect skin shins look like, it's us. Really? Because we all look really terrible. Yeah. Because we all 
have like actual Wait, what safe? Whatever I'm sorry. I I got to turn down everything real quick. On Okay, I don't think we need sound on this. I'm just going to go a little bit like Bam. Okay, one's good. One's good. Okay. Okay, let's go. We're in we're not gonna let you or really or your really weird insults get to us. Across the quad, you see Ashley's best friend, Van Van, the man man. <laughs> yeah, that's a great name. Say if you're voicing this character. I don't yeah, know. he voices Van Van. <laughs> His yeah, pants. The only thing I'm set in. No, okay, your voice. Oh, okay, bye. I guess I'll voice Van Van. <laughs> Yeah, you voice You can see him casually working out his glutes while he styles his hair. No lie, they're rocking glutes. Wait, can you can you can you do his voice like this? Hey guys, my name's Van Van the Man. <laughs> my man's Van Van. Okay. Ahem. Oh, okay. Oh god. That's <gasps> terrifying glitch. Oh my god. Wait. Gideon. Wait. <laughs> oh wait, what was my voice again? Just you're do a voice. Just actually, do a voice. You're actually. Okay, wait. I am Van Van. <laughs> you rang rang. You've never been sure what their arrangement is. But, oh, I can, okay, I know what I'm going to do for his next voice. But as long as you've known them, Ashley and Van Van have been as close to you as, just as close as you and Miriam, but substantially more devious. You, I can't believe the University of Cookie School Academy for Learners would ever allow people like you to attend as students. I, oh, Gideon? Get in! Get in! I keep on getting disconnected. I know, right? You think they just hand us our diplomas now? Or maybe they'd hire us as our professors. That's you amateur, <laughs> you <laughs> your amateur should learn a lot from us. I come from the motherlands. I should know. <laughs> I should know. <laughs> With the first day of school about to start, there's just no time to properly tell these two off. So you resist the urge. Let's go, Miriam. Uh, looks like he's from the '80s. <laughs> he looks like a character from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Maxi boy, come on. Oh! See you later, losers! <laughs> yeah, you. Oh, yes, I want to voice him! As you approach the door, you see goofy looking kid pushing hard Wait, against no, the window Gideon, directly. Gideon has next. The voice oh, okay. Like, normally. Like, Gideon, you can just talk normally for this guy. Gideon! You know what? I'm just gonna go with him. Oh, no. Oopsie. I think it's broken. You reach forward and easily pull the door open. Oh, that should. Oh, that should do the trick. I love you. Jesus, don't go that far. I Six, think you whoa. mean thank you. Get in. You my name's Pop. Kid. My name's Pop. I was named after my Pop Pop. He's old. Could someone like. Can someone like this also be a student at the school? He must be one heck of a chef. Also, his name Clag clearly says Bob. But I guess he's reading it upside down. Or he put it on upside down. What? Hi, Pop Pop. I'm. Oh, hi, Pop Pop. I'm Jebecky the. I, I, I. So. Are you going to make me hold the tour all day? Um, no, nope. I, I tried to go with Mineta for this voice now. I'm going with Mineta. And with that, the young uh, man no walks. Reason. Do you know what Mineta sounds like? No. Just look up like a voice line of Mineta, and he's like, I he's like perfect for this type of role. And with Make that, sound like he has a stuffy nose, by the way. Okay. The young man walks into the building ahead of you. Max, you boy. Is it just me, or is he kind of cute? I think it's just you. You both shrug your shoulders before following him into the building. 
You stand at the edge of the classroom, unsure where to sit. Other students wander in and keep themselves busy chit-chatting. Oh my god. A gruffy, a scruffy looking pooch takes his place at the podium at the front of the class. Adorable. No, no, quiet down, everyone. Mm. Who is this unreasonably cute pup and why is he in our culinary class? You must be Sprinkles, the head instructor and CEO of the UCSAL. I don't know what that means. Yeah. Learning Academy, it's... Oh. <gasps> the post! The post! Please call me Professor Dog. I may be cute and little and fluffy, but I still demand respects. Respect. Woof. I'm, I'm kind of going for Monokuma on this one. What? A cute dog is our professor? This is the best school ever. I guess only dogs nose is capable of picking up all the nuisance of fine dining. Out of nowhere, wind w begins to rush around you as a swirl of cherry blossom petals fill the air inside the room. Wow. <laughs> I'm chilly. I'm no, I'm Pop. Oh, wait, no, I thought this was me. Oh. I'm sorry. It's not my fault. <laughs> I'm, like, oh, I'm chilly. Uh, someone close the door. I mean, close the window! And then, he walks in. <gasps> oh! The cherry oh, Colonel! The Colonel be... The Colonel be fresh to death! <laughs> the Colonel be 20 years old now. <laughs> mm, that jawline. That jawline. <laughs> the jawline. You're immediately swept up in the aura of his... <laughs> <laughs> Ow. Owie. Ow. <laughs> I just hit my arm. You're immediately swept up in the aura of the new student and his remarkable goatee. <laughs> Who knew anyone could be so handsome? Time still stands. Stand still. It's him. It's, 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 it's. If it isn't my favorite student, Holland, Colonel Sanders interrupts Sprinkles. Sorry. Professor Dog, but before he can finish his sentence, please call me Colonel. Colonel Sanders. A hushed murmur rolls through the classroom as Colonel Sanders walks down the aisle of desks. Suddenly, the room is sweltering. Sweat begins to beat across your brow. You feel like everyone is looking at you, and you're not entirely wrong. Gideon, Gideon. This is over here. Wait. This is over here. Must be sweaty sweat squad. Maybe we should open the window back up before its faucet pit smell melts into a puddle and evaporates everywhere. I'll be right back, guys. No! Who's gonna talk as Miriam? Oh, you, can, you can voice Gideon. Ah. I guess I'm voicing Miriam. Wonderful. Okay. You two both. Know, you two both know my name. We were in the same kindergarten class. And what is with all your really weird insults? Oh, okay. Bam. It's a good thing you didn't forget about the deodorant this morning. This classroom is hot, hot. Professor Dog steps in to settle the class down and set some ground rules. Welcome to the University of Cooking School Academy for Learners, the greatest culinary academy in the world. The birthplace of culinary legends, past, present, and future. Many challenges await you. There will be tears, there will be blood, there might even be really adorable tiny food. And when all is said and done, there will be a battle! You will lift your sporks and complete in the broom cooking arena. Just then, another student enters the class and interrupts the professor's rousing speech. Hi, guys. Sorry I'm late. I hope everyone had a good summer. I really miss... Quiet! Shut up! Quiet! Late. 
get to class is bad enough. But interrupting my monologue, you're on the fast track out of here, young man. Are you sure you're even in the right place? Uh, d d d don't you recognize me? This is my third year in the school with you as my teacher. Oh, I am sorry for him. Oh, that sucks. It's your third year here and your teacher still forgets who you are. Oof. <laughs> Everyone stares blankly at him. Uh, d d d does no one rem remember me? I'm... You're expelled if you utter one more word before I finish. Look at my butt. <laughs> Let that be a lesson to you, students, that tardiness is unacceptable! Even Clank made it here on time, rolling halfway across town on his tiny wheels. You turn to see student Sprinkles, the student Sprinkles is referencing, who appears to be some sort of finish industrial kitchen appliance were the class bursts into laughter oh clank you rascal sprinkle walks oh, the face the face oh my god sprinkle walks in the classroom as anyone stands silent in obedience when he gets to you he lifts his nose in the air and takes a deep sniff oh Hmm, your diet is lacking. Based on what I'm picking up here, you definitely need a multivitamin. You should be taking better care of yourself. You never had a talking dog as a teacher before, but Springle's reputation is being smart, but tough is well known. Okay, what do we do? What do we do? Chat, 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 chat. I need help. Chat. Come on, chat. Come on, come on, come on. You got it? No, chat's helping me out. Chat? Yeah, I know. I'm so... <laughs> <laughs> I feel like if you give them food, he's gonna be like, Chat! What do we do, chat? Please, not the chicken snack. Okay, chat. Help me out. Yeah. Yeah, come on. Chicken! Okay! No. Ah! Ah! That's a lot of freaking chicken! Alright. Okay, wait, hold on. Where's my... I like that pose. That pose really is really nice. Ah! Okay. Widgets. Chat box. Here we go. There we go. Now when you guys chat. Now header. Bam. I've not had the header on in so long. Here we go. <laughs> His favorite. Well, well, well. I think there might be some competition for new star students. The furry professor immediately devours the snack, leaving your hand slick with the coating of warm doggy drool. You see another student eyeing you jealously, but pay no attention to them. If they wanted to succeed in life, they should have learned the importance of carrying a range of dog treat flavors on them at all times. <laughs> Settle down, young chefs. Take your seat to prepare to have your minds opened to the amazing possibilities of culinary creation. As everyone rushes to claim their favorite seat, you're left standing at the front of the room. Only two options remain. Hi, hi, Becky. Hey, oh, Bet, this is you. Becky, you got food? Wait. Oh yeah. There's still a seat here. It seems that no one has claimed this seat next to me. If you're interested. Okay. Who do we sit next to, Chat? Who do we sit next to? I'm just saying, Colonel Sanders would be way better because then we could get close. I know. I Colonel, Colonel, that's how you Colonel, pronounce Colonel. I'm sorry, I know. Say it right. Come on, okay, chat, don't fail us. Come on, chat. Chat, Colonel. Okay, good, good, good choices. Good choices all around. Good choices. Shoot, okay. Let me just move chat box a little bigger. Oh, okay. Uh, there's someone outside my house watching. It appears he brought no books, pen, or pencils. However, his perfect upright posture shows off a seriousness that makes you confident in his desire to learn. That's thanks. Oh. Thanks for offering me the seat. Oh! That jawline! Oh! Oh! The biceps! 
The biceps! The biceps! Let's continue. No, no! Oh, the hair! Let's. Oh my god! Oh lord! Oh lord! Oh lord! Oh my god, he fine! Okay. I only have two. I only had two rules. Do all you can and do it the best you can. It's the only way you'll ever get the feeling of accomplishing something. That jawline, no! Oh my god! <laughs> no, it's so fucking hot. That that is so that is so inspiring. A little off topic, you ask me, but okay. Oh shoot! Why is my phone on the ground? Uh, yeah. Oh, okay, good. My Postmates is here. Okay, bye. I'm kidding. I don't have Postmates. <laughs> My Postmates is here. Okay, bye. As soon as you settle in your seat, into your seat, the professor makes an announcement. Think fast. It's time for a pop quiz. Here's go. Okay, chat. Yay, a quiz about me. <laughs> this incredibly important and surprising short quiz will tell me if you are ready for a life at culinary school. Keep your knives sharp and your focus sharper. Here comes question one. Okay, what do we do? Chat? Chat? How important is it to wash your hands before cooking? Come on, come on chat. I know you guys are smart. Come on. It's obviously the bottom one. Yeah, it doesn't matter at all. Do Morgan. Morgan. I don't want to fail the first pop quiz. It does matter. She said, does it matter? Come on. Okay, oh yeah. Feathers. I don't care. I chat. I'm I'm doing this by myself. I'm going I'm going through this as fast as I can. Bam, bam. Let's go! Speed run! <laughs> Speed run KFC quiz! Let's freaking go! Look at that! <laughs> Speed run! Call me Dream, because I ain't a cheater. Call me... Call me D'Amelio, because... McBeater. Oh! <laughs> wow. Be honest. Did you cheat? No. I did not. I. <laughs> you look up to see the colonel. I know we just met, but I have to confess. I think you have a beautiful brain. Hot diggity! Jebecky the third, you just scored some major Colonel Sanders points with that performance. <laughs> May I have your intention, students? I have an important announcement to make. Time for lunch! It's lunch time, it's lunch time. Gotta get ready, it's lunch time. Lunch time, I'm gonna eat a nerf dart. Mmm, so good. Yummy. Wow, the cafeteria is as nice as any restaurant you've ever eaten at. It makes sense that a school decided to, to cook, de dedicated to cooking, to cooking, would also be as serious about eating. A delicious fragrant wafts through the room and tickles the end of your nose. Your mouth waters. Do you smell that? It must be our lunch! It smells crazy. Oh, yeah. God dang it. Sorry. Everyone, can I have your attention? Is it about lunch? No, I just wanted to apologize for my tardiness. You see, I was... Howdy, folks. I'd like to make an announcement. Hey, I was... It's about lunch. Everyone cheers. No dip. It's lunch. But I... Shh. Oh, Max? Sorry. 
God, breaking the sound barrier much? <laughs> lunch, 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 lunch. She said shh. In honor of the new semester, I have prepared something special to share with everyone for lunch. Uh -huh. Spell, spell, spell. Yeah. <laughs> Indeed, that smell. You hold your breath, waiting to see what food this mysterious student has created. You've heard that he's very talented, but were the rumors true? That jawline! <laughs> Them biceps! <laughs> the bow tie! The watch. You hold your breath, waiting to see what food this mysterious. Oh, I already just read that. It's. It's. Is. This. Colonel Sanders lifts a large bucket above his head. Its contents. <laughs> that Jola! <laughs> Colonel Sanders lifts a large bucket above his head. It contains its contents glimmer in the light. Okay, that's it. If, if I when I make my emotes and I become Twitch affiliate, that is being an emo. That Jola! <laughs> the jawline of the chicken is the, the jaw supreme. <laughs> oh yo, that that jawline be looking a thick. I mean, if you look at me, I, I already have a lovely jawline. Love, lovely, no, lovely, lovely. You got yep, that. Agreed. And then at the front, you got this. <laughs> Piled high. And then you got this. Piled higher. Huge pieces of chicken breaded and fried to crispy golden finish. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god! Oh my god! I love it. The aroma envelops you, envelops you, envelopes you, <laughs> and you begin to feel warm and safe. Colonel Sanders has filled a bucket with chicken. What a novelty concept! Your stomach begins to grumble as if saying, "Stop thinking, start eating." I mean, that's what my brain thinks every day. Pretty average. Pretty average. For years, I have been developing a secret recipe for the perfect friend. Look how angry he looks right now. Oh my gosh. You good, Mr. Colonel? Are you mad that I haven't complimented that jawline? <laughs> <laughs> By my calculations, nothing less than 11 herbs and spices are required to achieve the perfect balance of flavor. Hey, are we finishing this whole game today? Probably not. We're gonna have multiple streams of this. Okay. If you look around and notice that every other student has a pen and paper and is scribbling notes as fast as they can. <gasps> but that's all. But that's all I'll say about that. Oh, um, what? What do you think about that? We want your stupid secret recipe, dude. Psha! No, my dude, no. I'm just drafting a last will and testament in case uh one of those ingredients is a uh, poison. Gotham. He looks around nervously. Gotham. <laughs> he, he looks around nervously to see if anyone else is laughing at his sick burn. Oh, that face of pain. Ooh. You wait to see what zinger Ashley has prepared to follow up, but she suddenly takes a different approach. Ayo, ayo, Mr. 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 Gideon, get ready. I know, I know. Wait, I'm getting discovered. Yeah, and I was just like writing in my diary. Gideon! Dear diary, today I smelled something beautiful. I knew at that moment that only the hands of a true gentleman could fry. Chicken so tender. Chicken so tender. You see, <laughs> da! you see her language change from bitter and evil to sweet and innocent as she slides closer to Colonel Sanders. She realizes that he is destined for greatness and fame with cooking skills like this. She wanted him all to herself. Oh, please. Well, Van Van, the, the man man. 
If you don't want any. I'll take his! Whoa, hold on. Whoa, hold on. I mean, I guess I'll try it. <laughs> he takes one bite and his eyes Oh God, he, oh shoot! Van Van is going Super Saiyan! Oh shit! Oh shit! <laughs> Oh god! Oh no! Oh frick! Easy now, that is enough for everyone. Please, my fellow classmates, dig in. That jawline! Please stop. No, he's a beautiful jawline. Ayo, 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 someone screenshot this? I, I am Colonel. I am the Colonel now. Someone on stream. I am the Colonel. <laughs> I am the Colonel. You take one piece of the fried chicken out of his bucket and sink your teeth into it. It's amazing. Oh god, whoa! <laughs> Tasting Colonel Sanders' food transports you to another dimension. Wow. <laughs> loading your taste buds, gripping that drumstick in your hand. You float weightlessly. Okay, what do we do? Do we, chat, do we swim towards the light, savor the moment, or focus on meditating and try identify the flavor? What do we do, chat? Come on. I would do either the top, top one or the bottom one. <laughs> Come on, chat. Swim? Okay. Somewhere up ahead, a bright light beacons you. The flavor are so intense, you become wrapped up in them. Unable to resist, you reach towards the light. It grabs your hand and pulls you closer, closer, closer. Until your fingernips connect with the end. Connects with the end of everything? Bro! Are we exploding the world? You are forever lost in the land of tender fried chicken bills. Bliss, your mind... It dissolves. There are no Jebeki the Third now. There's only herbs and spices. Through Miriam tries to revive you. She cannot. Dude, just get my reboot card. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Though Miriam tries to revive you, she cannot. No! We just lost! <laughs> okay. We've been doing this for 38 minutes and we lose? Ah, we'll try again. Uh, you can just load, 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 load. There's a load button. Yeah. Press escape and load. Escape? Well, no, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure. Oh, okay, there we go. Oh, wonderful. Let's just skip. Ah, ah, mm, mm. Try to click the skip button. Ayo, ayo, okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm butterfly clicking. Okay, we're back. How did you click for a second? One. Okay, chat, Morgan, do not fail me this time. Please. <laughs> Please don't fail me. <laughs> don't me fail me this time. <laughs> I will. I don't want to die again. This chicken that kills me. Savor, okay. I guess we have to savor the moment. We're saving the moment. The flavor in your mouth are beautiful, pure heavenly. What a guy. Alone with the flavors, you feel something that cannot be described as love. For a man, for a flavor, are they the same? After tasting the food, you try to get some one-on-one -on -one time with Colonel Sanders. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> oh, you approach Colonel Sanders. Colonel Sanders smiles ever so softly as you approach. He stops what he is doing and allows you to break the silence. Colonel, I wonder if I could talk to you for a second. Anything for a fellow chef. What exactly was on that chicken? <gasps> How bold of you to come out and ask. Oh my, where did he get this? <laughs> he just has a chicken yeah. stick? What? It's an idea I had for a, a new combination of flavors that will make me my fortunate and establish my legacy. Start playing a piano. 
my legacy for all time as I open a chain of highly successful fried chicken restaurants. No big deal. It's just... Okay, I thought that said ooh-woo for a second, and I was about to just alt-tab. Alt-alt of four out of this shit. <laughs> it's just you and me here talking. I can keep a secret. In fact, I've got some of my own that I'd be willing to trade. What's the rush? The semester is only getting started. We've got two more whole days to get to know each other. Ooh, that sh mm, that face. That face. He's clearly not giving it up easily, but it doesn't hurt to be persistent. You you know what they say about secrets, Colonel? Shouldn't learning be fun? You've got moxie, I'll give you that. Colonel Sanders, look both ways to make sure you're truly alone! Oh! He learns in, you can feel his warm, oh, uh, his warm breath as he f whispers. Just one ingredient. But you can't tell. I use it's something my great grandma taught me. I use quotable. <laughs> <laughs> wow! You never you never have guessed that. In fact, you're not even sure where you'd get some if you searched. While you're wrapped up in the huge revelation, you notice that Colonel Sanders has disappeared. <gasps> oh god! Is he a ghost? Well everyone wait, else uses, wait, do you think he uses piggy then? What did you just say to me, you little shit? <laughs> <laughs> okay, everyone, bye, stream! I hate life! <laughs> Why? Why pig urine? Why would you think that? I don't know. Where do you even get pig urine? Probably from pigs, but maybe from humans. Maybe humans pee pig urine. I'm worried about you, the my friend. The secret ingredient is Colonel Sanders' pee. Duh. Why haven't we ever caught it? Sheesh. Before I eat your face off. Okay, well, let's get on with it. Are we... Wait, what's happening? You find Colonel Sanders outside standing in the quad. Oh, it's you again. Howdy. Oh, oh, it's you again. Howdy. Sometimes I like to come outside and look at the school buildings. I think about how my history will continue on after I graduate. Sounds like you have big plans. I dare say the biggest. I will leave my mark on this world. I c you can bet on that. Okay, what do we do? What do we do? chat try to give him a dog treat <laughs> wow what no, oh okay you know about that i was thinking about your secret recipe i don't doubt it i was it was a way of leaving an impersonation impression on all who taste it you decided to show him that you also know a thing or two about blowing minds with new flavors. I actually had some... I actually... Oh, no, this is me. Uh, I actually had some thoughts on how you could improve it. Improve it? You want me to change my secret recipe? And you... And you think you can do better? Have you ever heard of habanero peppers? <gasps> heard of them? I tend an entire garden of chili pepper vagina varieties habanero poblano what, what what huh what what what, what? pablo no kanye kanye west oh you, you <laughs> kanye. Kanye what's west. up You're but that's kanye not west. the point you can just you can't just toss new ingredients into my secret recipe and expect to improve it a recipe is about balance and involves careful consideration and refinement Oh no, he doesn't like us anymore! I didn't mean to... Let this be the last time you improve on my recipes, Chopeki the Third. I'm headed back to class for the next lesson. Uh, that whoa, certainly didn't no, go as planned. Whoa, 
Load to another thing. We're loading back. We're going back. What? Load. No. No. We can't. Oh, God. No. Hates us. Load. We can't have this. It's no. Not, Wait, what does load even do? It loads. Holy crap! Did we just get to chopped? I don't know. Load to another No, place. no. This, no. This, I'm. Oh, please say we get to cook. You step into a well, massive cooking arena. Colonel Sanderson, well, he doesn't like us. Where the afternoon lesson will take place. Each student gets an oven and the tools and ingredients they could need. Look at this place. It's magnificent. We get to show our stuff. Ow. Wait a second. Oh, no. We have to show our stuff. What if I totally throw it? You're not going to blow anything, except maybe kisses to the crowd of fans you're going to earn with your signature adorable tiny cookie. Welcome, students, to the cooking arena. Well, today's lesson, we will be cooking with partners. Hurry up and pair off. Okay. Naturally, Maria, Miriam looks over at you, but able to control yourself, you pounce on Colonel Sanders. Oh, God. Hey, Colonel, would you like to tackle... Oh. All right. He just is saying, we don't care about Miriam and... She cannot be your best friend. Hey, Colonel, no would you like to tackle this lesson as a team? A team of two. That is me and you, if it wasn't clear. Want to be my partner? Sure, back in the third, I'll prepare our station. Without you as your partner, Miriam is left standing alone. Two different students quickly take notice. Hello, new partner. Wait, oh, my. The robot's a student? Yeah. Oh, my. Oh, your turn. Two potential partners? I'm so sorry, gentlemen, but I don't know who to choose. Looks like you have to pick for her. Friends' duties can be a little awkward, but that's the price you pay for not being alone forever. How do you... Well, how, who do you want to be... To ask to be Miriam's partner? Okay, chat! Pop. Pop or clank? Pop or clank? Pop. Chat, chat, Pop. Pl chat. Pop. <laughs> well, chat has to decide. I would say Clank. Clank might be OP. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's true. Pop looks like a little tendril. A robot. Chat? Chat, help us. Clank, okay. Sorry, Pop, but I think Miriam will be partnering with Clank today. It's okay, I already ate. Just because Max want Pop. <laughs> Morgan said Clank just because you want Pop. It's not entirely clear if Pop has any ideas what the point of school even is at this juncture. Clank is clearly excited to have some attention. He eats up and begins to roll back and forth. Warp, warp, warp. Hold on there, fella. I don't even know what the assignment yet is. Technically, Clank might not e have a face, but there's something charming and earnest about him. Why don't you just cook, cook like in... He's clearly like a microwave. Oh, uh -huh, like, look. Hat. Look at him. You can just open his head up and... Tissue, up I hardly know you. Uh-huh. I, I was supposed to that. Oh, shoot, sorry. Clank <laughs> judders and panels shake loose. I got the impression that this is a sign of affection. Wow. Look at Miriam's boyfriend. It's a robot. <laughs> Looks like you two will be fine. Hey, Flixie, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? Mm hmm. Now it's time uh, to yeah, focus on. Much, yeah. Um, all that happened is we know Colonel Sanders were at school cooking and that's him he's like 20 now okay. all right you two for today's lesson we're going to keep it simple pick a basic dish and divide up the steps no chef is an island and it takes two flint flints to make a fire you got the idea what a, poet what a poetic dog which dish do you suggest to your partner colonel Sanders? okay steak tartare seems easy enough steak tartare octopus or Okay, I thought that said grandmother's ashes. <laughs> or Mashed potatoes and gravy. Okay, <laughs> what, what do we do? Flix 
Dixie. We are playing, well, huh, we're playing Colonel Sanders Dating Simulator. I love you, Colonel Sanders. A finger licking good dating sim. But what do we choose? My grandmother, my octopus, or my steak tarte? Steak, okay. Flixie, what do you think? You know, no, we're going with steak. If I'm kidding, no, we gotta wait for Flixie, because we have another chatter. Ugh. What do we go with? Octopus. Oh, okay. Um, okay, guys. Octopus, you too, you too. Octopus or steak? Max, octopus or steak? Max? Hey, Max. Max! Bye bye, muted! Octopus, because it says, seems easy enough, and he does not like easy stuff. Octopus, 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 please. Okay, now, um. That's not octopus. That's Gideon, not octopus. Gideon, what do we choose? What is your choose? I got disconnected again. Do choice. Just pick choice. I had a delicious steak tart there once. Why did you do this? I just randomly selected. I'm sorry. Dude, now he's gonna hate us. No, he's not. He's gonna hate us. We're it was simple but sophisticated. Time. Maybe we could make that beef, raw beef, with seasoning and egg yolk on top. Becky, I must admit, I am disgusted right now. I told now. you, you should have picked octopus. I'm sorry. Low Consider file. our Thank partnership you. ended. Jebecky, okay, load, load, load. Third bite, okay. Oh God, I don't know how far back this will load up. We're just gonna go with the jitter clicking to save the day. Oh, oh wait, no. okay. Never mind. Pick what I told you to pick. We're okay. We're gonna go jitter clicking. Okay. What do we do? What do we do, lads? Okay, we know this one. He hates us for it. Okay, do do be modest but thoughtful. Okay, let's go. There we go. Jitter clicking away. Jitter clicking away. Okay, good. We got clank. We got clank. Good. Oh, okay. oh God! He picked the option. Apparently, he loved it. <laughs> okay, good, good, good. I'm. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Maybe mashed potatoes oh, okay. and gravy. <gasps> I couldn't imagine one without the other. Colonel Sanders cast a coin. Look at you, causing your whole face to go beet red. Embarrassing. You quickly turn away. I'll go get the potatoes. No, please, let me pick. <laughs> Wait a minute. Why did you give her an accent all of a sudden? I'll go get the potatoes. I'll go get the potatoes. No, please, let me. Pick him perfect produce. Say that ten times fast. Picking perfect produce is a passion of mine. Picking perfect produce is a passion of mine. Picking perfect produce is a passion of mine. Looks like things are getting pretty fresh around here. Does anyone have a crush on Colonel Sanders? We're just look we're just cooking partners, bitch. <laughs> Mind your own goddamn business. Okay. Oh yeah, sorry. Sandy Tart is my business, and you better keep your fingers off my man. <laughs> Did someone call me? Uh, Gideon? Uh, no, geez, man, man. Well, I'm over here pressing the bed. Get it, there's a drum. You're supposed to be taking care of our class. Oh God, no, Van Van, 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 Van Van,
Sandman van. Oh, he's so crying. Sorry, but you, you're gonna get a ban Colonel Sanders returns, arms full of peeled potatoes. He tosses them into the boiling water and returns his attention to you and your old friends. Oh, howdy there, Ashley and Van Van. We are working in a qua court instead of duets now. Actually, Actually, no, it looks like Jebecky's third is struggling, so we offered to give them a hand. You know how it is, these young amateurs just need love oh. and mentoring. Yo, wait, so it's not completely clear if we're a girl or a boy. Cool. We could be non-binary for all we know. I was going to say, Colonel Sanders, maybe... I could also teach you a thing or two about fancy food. Maybe one day you might be able to get up to my level. Ha! Huh, doubt it. Wait, Carson, what if we're a dog? <gasps> uh, okay, Matt, Gideon? Don't be rude, man. Gideon! Oh, wait. Personally, I have no doubts whatsoever about Colonel Sanders ability to concoct creations worthy of admiration. After all, your fried chicken is quite spectacular. Gideon! Oh, but Kyle, if you ask me, I might make a better partner for you than this thing that is positioned itself at your station. Get in! Do you feel... Do you feel the that we cast complimentary shadows? We fit together like a thigh and a drumstick. It just makes sense. Nothing about this makes any sense. But one thing is clear, she's coming for Colonel. And you don't... If you don't watch out. Ashley is going at your... At you hard. You need to ask for some backup here before things get ugly. It already is ugly. Have you seen Ashley? Oh! Roasted. Okay. Turn to Colonel Hunk of Hunks in your time of need. Oh, God. Turn to Miriam, your forever bestie who is always on your back. Guys, what do we do? Chat. Chat. Help me. Chat. Chat? There are ten parts. Hunkster! <laughs> okay, Hunkster. I'm here to learn and express myself via my cuisine, not bicker with prima donnas. Prima donnas. Partners were chosen at the beginning of class, so let's all respect the format, okay? Okay, bitch? <laughs> I'm putting cuss words where cuss words are needed. You turn to Colonel Sanders to confirm that you are on the same page. I choose Colonel Sanders, and Colonel Sanders chose me. Isn't that right? Okay. A businessman respects all fair agreements, but from, from contracts to handshakes... I took on Jebeki the Third as my partner for this activity, and I stand by it. Based on your team's behavior, I'd say that you're perfect for each other. Neither of you uh, has has Becky the Third's natural talent or their loyalty. Being defended by Colonel Sander leaves you feeling proud and full of potential. You look for Sprinkles and hope that she might step in. You look oh Sprinkles. Okay, I was like. Why would you look for sprinkles and mashed potatoes? <laughs> I hope that he might step in, but there's, but he's nowhere to be found. Darn those cute corgis and their short but sturdy stature. You look, you look down at your station and realize that in the tension of the moment, you're ha you have been cooking on autopilot. Oh God. Distracted by the drama, you've already crushed the boiled potatoes into a perfectly creamy mashed texture texture with plenty of butter and cream for flavor. It's as if you naturally passion guided you through the steps to know us so well while your attention was elsewhere. 
I know, just that jawline. God dang it, Carson! <laughs> Whenever he's in this pose, I gotta talk about that jawline. I know just what to do. Colonel Sanders extends his hand. He's holding a beautiful white porcelain gravy boat. No, he's not. Look at his no, hand. he's not. <laughs> Out of which pours a smooth brown gravy, smithereen, you know your guy, nearly man. finished potato dish. Oh. King what Kanye, you know, welcome. No, it's King Kane. No, it's King Kanye. It's King Kane. <laughs> King Kanye. Gravy flows down oh, the yeah. pound of mashed potatoes. The result looks spectacular. Yeah, okay. Granny would be very proud. Colonel. Uh, Colonel. Oh, my God. I know you're about to say it. I'm having a certain pack. I'm having a certain panic right now, my guys. Ooh. Okay. Colonel holds a spork out to you. Okay, I gotta take a picture of this real quick. Oh my god. I, You're I, gonna I, put this as like your screensaver. Uh, guys, you might wanna check my TikTok soon. <laughs> gotta 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 set something. Edit 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 profile. Choose a change photo. Hold on. No, undo. Undo. Okay, guys, guys, I got, okay. Where's my boy? Where's, where's the boy? Colonel, 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 the Colonel. Bam, bam, bam! Okay, everyone, you might want to check my TikTok. <laughs> Colonel holds a spork out to you. You reach out and grab hold of it, but he doesn't seem immediately hype. Panic is real. Yeah! He doesn't immediately let go. The two of you stand holding the same spork. And for a small moment, all of the madness and pressure in this crazy world stops. Our eyes lock. The moment is electric. Time stands still. Oh, I love you. If you love... Okay. Oh, I was like, what? If you love something, set it free. You dig... Together, you dig the utensils into the mashed potatoes. <gasps> that Jola! Oh, yeah. Okay. Why is she winking like that? I don't like it. <laughs> what is she about to... What's her scheme now? Together, you dig the utensils into the mashed potatoes and lift a heavy, heaping spork up. You see Ashley with a sinister look. You know she's plotting against you to be with Colonel Sanders. And then filled with rage! And without thinking, you fling the spork mashed potatoes right into Ashley's face. Into a in Ashley's stupid bitch beautiful face. Van Van! Oh, no. Gideon. Van Van, do something beautiful. Scooping up a fingerful, Van Van tastes the dripping mashed potatoes and gravy and realizes that it's delicious. Horrified by his revelation, he slinks away. Will he ever be able to cook something this powerful in love and integrity? Hold on right there, Jebekah, you will not be wasting food in the broom, cooking arena. Colonel Sanders, I expect better from you. If you don't want more spoonful, you'd better be prepared to eat it before where from the wind lands. Can, can I have potato faith? Hey! 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 That pose! That pose! Van Van rushes back a covered dish. A covered dish in his hand. Mm. Mashed potatoes with gravy, pathetic. In just a few minutes, I prepared a full meal. Gaze upon my speciality: braised tentacle of octopus in my silky, wa silk wa silky salt water sauce, plated on a battle axe, plated blade forged by my supreme sesh ancestors. You ignore me for so long. That, that. Ends now. It is I who has who will have first bite, and you will look on my with on with envy. The oh god, what what part are we at? We are on, we have not finished the fourth. We are not even on the fourth bite yet. The interrupting suit rushes at Van Van and swipes a bite of his signature dish right off the plate. No, don't. Something about this dish doesn't strike my nose quite right. I think the Ozidus was rushed, and we have turned in the process. The result could be toxic. Holy shit! Van Baron is like a poisoning. Too late. It has been eaten. 
Oh, oh, I think I left Should something in the thing. oven. I don't feel, I don't feel, Miss, Mr. Sprinkles, I don't feel so good. <laughs> it killed. Oh my god! Holy! Holy crap! He's dead! to watch Pop's final moments. Shock has frozen the whole crowd. There are motionless statues. The bell rings. Rest in peace, student. The class bell rings, disrupting the moment and snapping everyone back to reality. It would appear that Pop's enthusiasm for trying new things, despite obvious danger, has included him against poison of all kinds. No! Pop is immortal! Pop, Pop is impervious to poison. Like, he can't die by poison. We chose- What we about the other guy who's still standing there as a ghost? Hi, <laughs> what's up, homies? I'm not sure the professors here make enough money for this. Or make enough money. Um, hello! I just turned into a ghost over here! Seeing that you've shaken up, you're shaken up by that really annoying student and all of his nonsense, Colonel Sanders approaches you. I'm sorry you had to go through that. Please let me walk you home. Oh. What? Like, for real? Oh, come on. You follow Colonel Sanders out the reel. At night, okay, are we, we have, okay, yeah, we just got to the fourth bite. When we get home, we're gonna stop playing this, and we'll see that, we'll play it tomorrow. I mean, Thursday. At night, the school. Oh, that would be perfect. At night, the building, the school building has taken on another vibe entirely. It's dark, and more like, more than a little spooky. Colonel Standers stands in the quad neon green neon glow and speaks softly. Those mashed potatoes you made in class today. <laughs> they sucked! <laughs> Sorry, chat. Before you go on. Before you go on. Before you go on, I want you to know. They're not a great representation of my skills. I didn't even realize I was making them. They were amazing. Tasting them, it reminded me why I became so passionate about food in the beginning. To begin with, Colonel Sanders is getting choked up. Cho cooking is obviously important to him in a way that you find inspiring. Now might be the perfect time to tell him you're developing feelings for him. Colonel Sanders? Yes, Jubecky the Third? There's something I need to tell you. Hold on right there! <laughs> There's something uh, I need to tell you first. Oh, jeez. You see, when I was just a boy, I had a dream that one day I would be the greatest chef in the world has ever seen. Then every day I've been working towards that dream. Day and night, never stopping, never resting, also lifting a lot of weights. Like so many weights. <laughs> we should follow our dreams with all our heart. That our souls may grant them like wishes floating on a shooting star. Hey, no, I, you, shut up. Oh, he's going Super Saiyan again. He's going Super Saiyan. Wonderful. Shut up. I'm the one here to say inspirational stuff and be the star of the show. Oh, hi, Safe. How you doing? Good. <laughs> We're about to finish off half of the game. Are we forgetting that your cooking literally killed a guy? Oh, oh no, that's that's Jebecky. Are we forgetting that your cooking literally killed a guy? You cannot prove that. Also, I saw you kill that guy. What was his name? Somewhere in the distance, you hear a long, sad sigh. Forget him! We're talking about me! 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 I'm the hero! 
the spork monster is here to fight is here to fight the a hero. What? Uh, oh, uh, I think I left the fridge door open. Later, nerds. How dare you threaten me? Just as well uh, as a as I let you down my guard and connecting with other chef on an emotional level. Be afraid. Be afraid of me, cause I'm a monster. See, it it it's. Is he rhyming on purpose, or is that just a coincidence? Before you can discuss syntax any further, it's a turn-based fighting sequence. What will you do? Attack. We have to attack. Oh, God. You decide to go on the attack. Which attack will you use? Uh, cook with love. Oh. Cook with love does one damage. It just go... It oh, just got real. The attack really upset Spork Monster. Spork Monster goes on the attack. He spits hot gravy on you. Is you there take any one music damage. Playing? Yeah, there is. is really Maybe like turn jamming? up my turn up my audio or something. No, we can't. We can't even hear this. Shoot, that's Wait, bad. Max. Sorry, chat. Huh? You take one damage. Defend. You decide to defend. Which defense will you use? Back. And endure whatever comes your way. Seems like a I pretty weird strategy, dollars. but okay, sure you do to you. Spork monsters focuses their mash mine and draws an energy from Earth, Mother Earth itself. They grow it's larger and, and more intimidating. How will you respond? Attack! Go on the attack. Well, attack will you with Cook with love. Cook with love does one damage. Spork monster is no quitter. Buffed up and ready to rumble. They go on the attack once again. Spork monsters uses you tent you ultra tensile. You take two damage from the attack. If you Oh god, if you take much more damage, you're not going to survive the battle. Attack. Only have, like... Go in the attack. Cook with love. Cook with love, just one damage. Spork Monster is using cheese stuffs on the lawn of the quad. I wonder who is going to clean all that up. Feeling vulnerable. Spork Monster is prepared for its ultimate attack. Rounded edge. Vile villain! The reign of terror stops here! Yeah! Daddy Sanders! Daddy Sa Oh, hi, Dad. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> Hi, Dad. How are you, how are you doing? <laughs> Hi. Hi, Dad. Hey, we're dating Colonel Sanders now. <laughs> Hello. How are you doing? Wait, Max. Vile villain! Colonel Sanders summons the energy of a thousand chickens! Oh! <laughs> Pot pie power pinch! Pot pie power pinch does 10 damage. Spork monster is defeated. Uh, you saved me. An injured spork monster spews steam into the night. Forget mercy, finish him! No. No student will ever walk the quad in fear again. The monster messed with the wrong chef. Attack. Ready for your final attack. You'll never survive my student debt loan destruction! Does 10 damage. Spark monster is completely vaporized. Colonel Sanders looks at you, looks on you in awe. Could you continue to surprise me, Jebecca? The, the, the defeated Yay. monster left behind a special item. It appears to be Max. at first to be a cookbook, but upon closer inspection, it is much more. It is a book of magic spells with a golden chicken on the cover. You open the cover and find a library card tucked inside. The last name is signed to Barocco. Hmm. Barocco, that sounds strangely familiar. Your blood oh is God, pumping. He was once a student. Oh. Uh, your blood is pumping as you stand in the quiet of the night holding the mysterious book in your hand. As you come mm -hmm. down yes, yes, shut you. Up. from the battle buzz, you realize that your final attack has left you completely de de depleted. The world around you begins to fade. Without energy to keep your eyes open, darkness overtakes you. The image of Colonel Sanders flashes before your eyes as you fall asleep. You must, he must have helped you get home in your tired state. You don't know if you could could have made it without him. He, what a guy. <laughs> yeah, student debt! <laughs> you want to thank him, but you don't have the strength to utter a word. You feel your eyes cover... Your eyes cover being pulled over you as you're tucked in tightly. Goodbye, my colonel. Your dream... In your dream, you're, you're together with Colonel Sanders. For some reason, Sprinkles is also there. Your love, instructing your love. Dreams are weird. <laughs> oh my gosh! Let's go! Max. <laughs> be quiet. 
You wake You're not on emotionally attached to this game. You wake on day two and attempt to process the wild visions you had. Were they memories or persuasions? I think we're on five. We got home. We should stop. Yeah. Okay. Load screen. Okay. Yeah, we're on five. Okay. Not much of a secret, huh? It's probably just he already trusts you so much. Sure, that makes sense. Well, go with that. Okay. Everyone, thank you. No, this isn't the end of the stream. We're just gonna quit for today. Uh, we're gonna play this the next day, but we're gonna play this on Thursday. So come here on Thursday. Let me switch my stream title real quick. But everyone, thanks for helping me watch. And everyone on the YouTube, thank you for sticking here and watching okay, along on the VOD. Yeah.